So, before you try to hack your target, pause a bit on the scans. Loud scans trigger server alerts and can be traced back to you. That's why you should use proxy chains. In this video, I'll walk you through setting it up with a Tor proxy so you can stay anonymous next time. But before we jump in, unlike our earlier video about single proxies, proxy chains works differently. This time, your traffic passes through not one proxy, but multiple proxy servers, or a chain of proxies before reaching your target. Proxy chains forces any TCP connection made by any given application on a system to follow through a proxy like Tor, or any other SOX4, SOX5, or HTTPS proxy. When you make a request, the first proxy forwards it to the second, then to the third, and so on until it reaches the target. The target only sees the IP address of the last proxy in your chain, and responses travel back through the same chain. The number of times a request is forwarded through multiple proxies depends on the type of proxy in your chain. In simplest terms, imagine you're sending a secret letter but don't want anyone to know your address. Instead of mailing it yourself, you hand it to a friend across town. They pass it to another friend in a different neighborhood, who passes it on again, until it reaches your friend. Each friend is a middleman hiding your location. That's proxy chains. Your computer doesn't connect directly. It goes through middlemen, making it much harder to trace you back. All right, now that you know what proxy chains does, let's actually set it up from the configuration file. The config lives in the etc directory, or you can locate it with the plocate command. It's the first one copy that path and open it in your favorite text editor with pseudo privileges. I'll open it with nano. There are different modes to run this in. The first is dynamic chain, second is strict chain, third is round robin chain, and the fourth is random chain. We will be using dynamic chain because it chains each proxy in the same order and if one is dead, it simply skips it and moves to the next one. Strict chain will not skip dead proxies and will fail the connection if a hop is down. Random chain will choose proxies randomly for each connection. For the case of round robin, the program makes sure your connections take turns starting with different proxies instead of always beginning with the same one. So imagine you've got three proxies. Let's call them A, B, and C. The first time you connect, the traffic goes through A, then B, then C. The next time, instead of starting at A again, it begins at B, then goes through C, then A. The time after that, it starts at C, then passes through A and B. After that, the cycle repeats. The key idea here is rotation. Each proxy gets a fair chance to be the starting point, which makes your traffic less predictable and spreads the load around. But keep in mind, round robin doesn't check if a proxy is slow or broken. It'll still try to use it when it's that proxy's turn. To enable dynamic chain, uncomment it and comment out the strict chain line. Next, navigate to the proxy DNS line and make sure it's uncommented as well. This routes DNS requests through your proxy chain and prevents your IP from being revealed via DNS lookups. Under the proxy list section is where we add our proxies. You can see the examples. By default, it's set to Tor, which we'll use here. We'll set the proxy list to use a SOX5 entry at the loopback address and Tor's port. Now save and exit the configuration file. Next, we need to set up the Tor service. Type sudo systemctl start tor. Then check the status, it should be active and running. Now we can prefix any probing command with proxy chains. For example, I'll open Firefox with proxy chains Firefox. When we check our IP location, it's hidden. It shows the tor exit IP, not my real one. Now you're free to run your nmap scan with proxy chains so you avoid being noisy and reduce the chance of detection. And that's it. If you have questions about this video, drop them in the comments. I'm all ears. See you in the next one. Happy hacking.